Hello, this is Professor Billier at WPI. And I'm going to show you how to do the strain measurement using ImageJ. So I open up ImageJ by clicking on the icon and it comes up as this little box here. And then I open the file. I'll use a rectangular one here where I know that there is no strain on it. I can use control plus to make it a bit larger. And then I wanna make it a binary image. It's like a grayscale image. All the pixel information is still intact. It just changes the color information. Now I need to set the scale on it because I don't know what the zoom is on this camera and it could be different image to image. So I select the line tool and I select a known distance that's in the same plane as my leather sample. So I will select that same distance each time in each of my images. And I click Control M or measure. And it tells me that's 741 pixels. Now I need to know what that distance is. In some units, that'll be the same from image to image. So I'm gonna set the scale and I'm gonna say that is one unit of this distance, which is, or you could put a ruler there and do actual distance like an inch or 10 millimeters or so. I'll do that. And now to check that, I'll go and I'll make another measurement, same place. And I'll do control M. And there it says I was off by a little less than 2% there. So that's my error. And I could should do this about 10 times to know what my error of measurement is. Much more accurate than measuring using the line tool is using the wand tool here. So first I'm going to threshold my image to make it a binary image so I can find these dots very accurately. Just image and threshold. And then I can see those dots very accurately. I apply that and that's binary. So now the dots are white and the sample is black. Now I use this wand tool up here, click on it and then control M or measure. And that tells me the X and Y locations of the top dot. Use the wand tool again, measure. And that tells me the X and Y locations on the bottom. So I can now know the distance between these by doing the square root of X2 minus X1 squared minus Y2 minus Y1 squared and take the square root of that. Now to get my strained image, I can pick my, where one I know I have a strain on it and redo the same thing. Make it a little larger, but it's control plus. Use the hand tool to make sure everything's in the image right here. Now I'm gonna go back and redo my scale bar. That's not a very good one there, it's a little better. All right, analyze and measure. Now in 748, it's slightly different. And then I'm going to set the scale again for this image. Again, that's one unit. And then see how good I did. Measure it again. Control M, and that shows I'm at within 1% in this case. And now I need to measure these Dots again, so make it my 8-bit image. Adjust, threshold the image. That looks good also. Use the wand tool to measure. And that tells me the X and Y coordinates of the top one. Use the wand tool again measure, and there's my X and Y. And now I'll do X2 minus X1 squared plus 
y2 minus y1 squared, take the square root of all of that, and I'll have my new distance. So now I'll have a distance strained and a distance pre-strained. I subtract those, divide by the initial length, and I get my strain value. 